Like Magic just updated their app, and so today we're going to look at the new features. If you're not using the Black Magic camera app yet, you should definitely check it out. Not only is it really feature packed and getting better every day, it's also free. The first new feature we'll look at is audio monitoring. And so now you can use headphones to monitor the audio within the app. Now, truth be told, this doesn't do a whole lot for me because if I'm recording audio, I'm using an external mic. And if you're plugging an external mic in, then you can't monitor the audio without some sort of an adapter anyway. My adapter of choice is the Rode AI Micro. Using the Rode AI Micro, you don't need this feature built into the app. And don't get me wrong, it's a nice feature to have, and it works great for recording audio directly into the camera. And I've also played with Bluetooth headphones, and while you can monitor the iPhone audio with Bluetooth headphones, and also if your Bluetooth headphones have a mic, you can use that as a mic and monitor at the same time but I couldn't get it to work with an external mic. So having the Bluetooth be one source and the external mic be the other, I couldn't get it to work with my setup. But I am glad to see that Blackmagic is improving the audio features because that's really the weakest part of the app. But for more advanced setups, I definitely still recommend the Rode AI Micro. Next up, we'll look at the new rack focus controls. And really, it's a lot more than just rack focus. To me, what I would call it is automated focus pulls, or in other apps, they call it pull to point focus. Now you can definitely do rack focus, but the idea here is it's automated. You more or less set keyframes, and then the app will automatically rack the focus for you because racking focus on a screen can be tricky and doesn't always work that well, and it's not precise for sure. Now you can do repeatable moves. So you'll rack to something and then it'll rack right back. And you've got a way to set the duration or the speed of the rack as well. I've only used this feature for a short time now, but in my limited testing, I'm finding it very easy to use, which is key because other systems and other apps I found are not easy to use. And so this is actually pretty intuitive, which is great. And a lot of people have been asking for this feature. And so it appears Black Magic is listening, which again is very cool to see. Now, I don't personally use this feature a lot, but it is something really nice to have. But a feature that I do use a lot, and I'm so glad, and it's actually my favorite new feature that Blackmagic has added, is you can now use the 48 millimeter virtual camera in the app. And if you don't know exactly what that is, you've got to have a 14 Pro or later device, and it allows you to push in on the main sensor and get a two times telephoto shot without losing any quality. If you do it with a digital zoom, which they do have in the app, you're degrading the image. Now with this, it's more or less like an optical zoom because it's pushing in on the sensor and that way you are still getting high quality. And so I'm really glad to see this in the app because I've really missed using it. It's one of the number one things I use in the native camera app. And so now it's great to have it in the Blackmagic camera app too. If you're new to the app and you wanna learn more, I have a detailed course that goes over every aspect of the app called the Complete Guide to the Blackmagic Camera App. I cover all you need to know to shoot professional quality video with your iPhone. And by the way, I'm updating it often, and I'm now including these new features in it as well. If you're interested in the course, link is in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.